Europa is making a splash today, and our search for alien life delves deeper. About 15 miles deeper, actually. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Europa is one of Jupiter's icy moons, and if you aren't in love with it, you totally should be. Europa is a wee bit smaller than Earth's moon with an iron core and a smooth surface fully covered by a salty, churning ocean. That's right, folks, there's water out there, perhaps as much as 15 miles deep. This means Europa may have even more water than Earth, and because all water on Earth contains life, scientists have wondered for a while now, could the water on Europa contain life? Europa is a bit different, though. It's so far from the sun, it's freezing out there. In fact, the entire surface of Europa's ocean is frozen. If you look at a picture of it, you'll notice that the surface looks a bit like cracked ice. When the moon's orbiting closer to Jupiter, the force of the tide under the crust might be causing those cracks. Now, last week, NASA released an exciting new discovery. Using the Hubble telescope, they've observed water vapor jetting out from those cracks and then falling back down to the moon. Now, these are no little baby fountains. These jets of water are 125 miles high, releasing seven tons of water every second. Yeah, peeps, Europa is not messing around. Using comparative photos, the water was faintly seen jetting out from the moon's south pole for over seven hours. NASA said that to get those images, they had to really push the poor old Hubble to its limits, which is why, for now, they still have to confirm what they saw. So this plume is significant because it's most likely bringing water out from underneath the planet's icy crust, making it easier for scientists to look for organic material and any signs of life. Instead of having to drill their way into the crust that's who knows how deep, they could just send a probe to bring a sample back to Earth. And they don't know how deep inside Europa's crust the water's coming from, but at seven tons a second, I mean, you figure that's gotta make some kind of a dent, right? The newfound geysers also show us that there's energy being pumped into the moon and that the surface and the ocean are interacting with each other, both necessary for the possibility of life. As exciting as all this is, Europa's jets are the first time water's been found in space. In 2005, NASA observed plumes of water coming up from the south pole of Saturn's moon Enceladus. On Enceladus, the plumes were more than twice as high. They shot up about 310 miles. However, the plumes were spewing considerably less water, about 450 pounds per second. Unlike Europa, not all the water from Enceladus's fountains fall back to the moon. Some of it leaks out into space. This is because gravity isn't as strong on Enceladus as it is on Europa. But the point is, peeps, we are getting closer. I can't wait for the day that I open up my laptop and the first tiny baby signs of life are discovered. I may just pee myself. Thanks for joining me for D News, everyone. We'll see you next time.